Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is, now that I came out here to dig around with this stuff, pouring down rain. And I am inside my Forerunner, obviously. I really wanted to come out here and fix this stuff because it just, it loosened considerably and became very articulating. <laughs> For the lack of a better way of putting it, this shit moved too much and it was bugging me. I grabbed some channel rocks and I, Gorilla gripped the shit out of all the, the twisty, turny parts. I also took the fall cam base, and instead of having it, well, I switched it around. So instead of having to come in from the back, I, I turned it so that I could come in from the front, and then I wasn't bashing into the, into the easy pass or the windshield. So fix that, and that's just a matter of, like, paying the hell attention to what I'm doing now. So I got that in there, and I have it nice and tight so that everything is out of the way and that isn't an issue. I took the small rig arm, which I said was gonna be the weak spot of this whole thing, and that's what this was for. I took this and I tightened it down as literally as hard as I could, which goes against everything that I know that you're not supposed to gorilla grip things down because one, you either strip it, or two, you, in, in my world of being a diver, you end up like, helping it hydrolock so that you'll never freaking get it loose. But I don't want it to come loose. So I kind of pre-configured where I knew it needed to be. And then I got it on there. I tightened down the end that goes into the quick release plate that goes into the fall cam arm. And then I super tightened it to this newer Arca clamp. So now that's all tight. That shouldn't come loose because that's where it's going to come loose the easiest, being that that's the part that screws in. Now, as far as the rest of tightening the articulating arm so it doesn't maneuver and all that kind of shit, that literally is just taking the freaking knob and twisting it tight. And that is fine. I can, I can deal with that coming loose if I need to, but it shouldn't because I've tightened that down, you know, finger tight as hard as I could. And, and then as far as going into the knee reclamp, that isn't an issue. Thank you, Dead Broke Barbecue, and in hindsight through several of my videos, Yankee Cowboy, for reminding me that I suck at not doing B-roll and showing you what exactly I'm talking about. I just describe it and I forget, and then everyone's like, I really wish I could have seen what the hell you were talking about. So I'm gonna take this off the thing now, off the clamp, and I'm gonna show you. So here is what I mean. So we've got the fall cam suction cup. It has the fall cam arm. That actually slides onto an Arca rail, and boom, it goes into place, and it, and it never moves. Then this is what I was talking about, because this is where it has the, the plate that goes into the quick-release clamp. Now, it goes in one direction, and there are channels on this plate, so you can only put it in one way. Well, before, I had this side to the back so that I had to come in from this side and I kept hitting my easy pass and I was like, well, that kind of sucks. And then I was like, oh, you fucking idiot. This spins around. So I spun this around. So now it comes in from the front and now I've got, I've got nothing blocking it really. I, I can sort of situate it behind the rear view mirror and then just pink slide it in and now it's locked into place. It isn't going anywhere. And then you can see how this small rig magic arm, I have it bent so that it goes up here and you can see the twisty knob up here then, and that does sort of touch the easy pass, and that's okay. This is where I use the channel locks to gorilla grip that tight into the quick release plate, and here where I gorilla gripped it into the, if you can see there's like things up there, there's a little adapter to take it from uh, quarter 20 to I think it's like five eighths or something like that, and I have super tightened that down on this. These damn things should not come loose at least for a long time, especially if I'm being careful. And then you can see where I have the cable, the power cable that runs all through the, the headliner, and I just have a little bit of it coming down. Now it goes down past where this will hang, and there's also probably another six, six to 10 inches of giggity of extra cable tucked up there. And it runs all the way through here, past that, down the trim, all the way underneath the glove box and comes out over here and goes right into my hub, my USB hub. Don't know if you can see any of that because it's dark out, you know, because of, of the rain and everything, but that's it. That's what you see. 
Uh, well, you would see if this was actually hanging on it, but you, you know, I don't want to use my, I didn't want to bring a phone and this and all this other shit out here. I just wanted this to be a really quick evolution. That being said, I'll just slide this back in here. And, you know, other than, than a little bit of give, which anything is going to have, it is not moving. So now I've just plugged the cable in, although I don't have this on and it perfectly runs right behind here. It doesn't hit anything. It doesn't yank anything. It doesn't block my view. Perfect. This should be good to go now and I shouldn't have any issues. All right, kids, it's been a typical day. Although I'm thankful that I did not go out on the road this week because it's awful out and it's going to be awful the rest of the week too. Unfortunately, I had a death in the family, so we're going to have to drive to the other side of the state on Friday for everything that's happening on Saturday and then driving back on Sunday. And it looks like we're driving through rain and storms the entire time. Boo! Boo for death too. So I finally have the fanny pack that I got from North End Bag yesterday. And I got the little insert that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, I have another one of these. It's in the bigger bag over there. And all it is is just, it's a series of, of pockets. The whole thing's padded. And then I keep a microfiber cloth inside of it as well. That way everything's nice and cushy. Now there's an extra pocket in here as well. And then it has a zippered outer pocket, which also, if anything, I would put like a pen or what I'm thinking about doing is putting the little like mobile card, you know, that I can touch tap people with because I'm going to carry this around pretty much all the time now. Uh, again, it's nice and padded in the back, which was a not something I was expecting. I was expecting it all just to be this canvas. And I actually do like the little latch system. It's very simple, very sturdy. And yeah, all set for it. So going to be using that on a regular basis now. I don't really have much else to say. I did go down in, into the workout room slash studio and did some exercise. I started getting knots in my back from mousing and typing and all that kind of shit. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to do a little bit of exercising. So, you know, again, I'm not doing anything formal. I'm not following like some crazy program and all that kind of stuff where I go down there and I work out for two hours and all that shit. I just went down there and, you know, used the weights and, and the pull-up bar and, and all that kind of stuff and did stuff for overall body for a very short amount of time, but enough that I'll feel it. And that's all I'm going for. I just want to start using muscles again that I never have and, and strengthening everything up again. Otherwise today, all back to 100% keto. I will say that, uh, you know, Sunday morning going to commune, having the biscuits, eggs, Benedict, really the only thing that I ate that wasn't keto were the biscuits and damn, were they tasty. Then later that day, when I grilled everything out on the grill, I also got potato salad and macaroni salad for us. And I put ketchup on my stuff. So the ketchup, it's just sugar, it's just tasty sugar. So having that on top of the potato salad and the, and the macaroni salad took me for sure out of ketosis. Yesterday for lunch, I also then again had the potato salad and the macaroni salad. And by the end of the day, I was very like, I don't know, crampy, almost bloated. Like I felt like there was food just sitting in my stomach. Whereas when I'm eating the keto, you know, and I'm just having some, some protein, like a meat or something like that, and a ton of vegetables, I'm done. I feel good. I'm ready to go. So that's why today, and pretty much, like I said, I'm going to say pretty strict to that throughout the week. And then maybe on the weekend, like when we have breakfast or we go to breakfast or something or bagel Sunday, I might actually eat the bagel. <laughs> you know, after a month of being so strict, I got used to it. I mean, it doesn't make some of this stuff taste any less crappy. The dirty hippie rice, the dirty hippie noodles, the pork rinds, the first bag of pork rinds I got, which was a shit flavor, which was no flavor at all. Um, they were horrible, but then I got barbecued and then I got sea salt and pepper and they were both tasty. So I can live with them. But that first one, it was like Himalayan pink salt and nothing else. And she couldn't even have me, like I couldn't even open it on the couch. She could smell it. And she was like, you know, like, no, get it away. It's, it's going back to keto most of the time. So I can feel good. Uh, it's going to be a crazy busy week the next couple of days. And then hitting the road Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, unfortunately, again, for funeral. And then coming back and, and just going back to life, doing what I got to do. I would love to be able to say that, that I'm going to shoot extensive videos about all the lenses and the camera setups and all that kind of stuff, but I just don't have time for that this week. So you're going to be quick, shitty little videos like this. 
you know, unless I think of something spectacular and I'm able to, to crank it out in, in like under a half an hour. So we'll see. All right, that's it though. That's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.